Hi, myself uh, Dr. Shamsundar Renedla, uh, Consultant Spine Surgeon at Germantown Hospitals, Atapur. Today, I am going to brief uh, on uh, most common problem what we face in spine practice uh, called spine infections. What is biopsy and what is the need of biopsy? This is the most commonly asked question, uh, why we need biopsy and what is biopsy. Biopsy is something like a small piece of bone or tissue we remove from the affected part of the body and we send for evaluation whether they have TB only or any other infection like bacterial, fungal, viral infection because if we treat as every, every infection as TB, sometimes we may miss the pathology and the problem in the patient can get aggravated. So doing biopsy is very important before starting on the medication and this biopsy uh, most commonly nowadays before uh, they used to treat the infections without biopsy but now we are doing every uh, patient compulsory biopsy before uh, starting on the treatment part. Uh, what is the treatment? Most of the cases in spine if you identify in early stages 90% of the tuberculosis uh, patients in the spine infection or any infection in the spine can be treated can be cured only with medical treatment. But any cases which neglects their disease and they presents very late where the infection can damage the bones and the adjacent structures, the spine can become unstable and these patients can go into the multiple deformities like scoliosis, kyphosis. These patients sometimes can develop weakness in the lower limbs and paralysis in the lower limbs and upper limbs. These patients most patients who develops weakness and deformities may need surgical interventions at later date. But if you identify in early stages, 90% of the spine infections can be managed with medications and some sort of sub support like belt or brace. What is drug resistant tuberculosis? Yeah, this is uh, nowadays because of uh, resistance, this bacteria became resistant to the regular drugs. Usually, we will start with the regular four drugs. Uh, if these four drugs are not working, our bacteria is not responding to these four drugs, the pathology inside the body can increase even after you start the TB medication. That is why we, what usually we do is we will repeat MRI after three months of the starting the treatment and if the disease is increasing even after starting TB medication, then we will do test called sensitivity test for first and second line drugs. So anybody not responding regular medication like regular four drugs, they are considered as a drug resistant TB. There are multiple varieties of drug resistance in that also. So these patients will be added extra medication to get control of the disease. When is surgery needed in spine infection? Yeah, as I said uh, before, uh, biopsy we do in every case almost. But surgery is needed only cases where they neglected their problem like they have paralysis in the legs and hands, they are not able to walk and some people can have urine and motion control problems, they could not control their uh, bladder and bevel and sometimes patient can come with severe unbearable pain, people uh, which shows severe compression in MRI which they can develop paralysis if they leave uh, if they leave them like that only with medication so this set of people people who has a weakness and deformities in the spine they needs uh, with the screw fixation and stabilization sometimes decompression surgery is needed but this comes to roughly 5 to 10 percent of the cases of who all affected with the infections in the spine German 10, German 10, German 10.